Hello guys and this is TFE Gaming here and today we're gonna talk about all the easy skill moves that you can perform in FIFA 21 and most of the skills in the video require a button or two so it should be very easy for you guys to learn them. While being easy they are the most effective ones as well so everyone can use them in the community. The first skill move in the list is the drag to drag and this skill move was added last year and it's really easy to perform. The drag to drag helps you to find some space in the midfield and stop for a second to analyze your passing options. The best way to use the drag to drag is here for example, like you're running down the wing and there's a guy tracking with you and you have to cross the ball in. The drag to drag will help you to stop, turn and keep the ball close to you. What this will do is the defender will not be able to track you down and you can find some space to cross the ball in. Another example to use the drag to drag is when you have the ball in the middle and you have two players running behind the defense and you can perform the drag to drag. This will enable to confuse your opponent which direction you will pass to. To perform this skill move you need to hold the LT L2 and then perform a fake shot. It's as simple as that. The second skill move in the list is the roulette. This is a skill move that is the best skill move to use for a one on one situation. It's been in FIFA since years and its effectiveness is completely insane. The skill moves really takes on your defenders like he's not even there. You can even stack roulettes like doing one after the other but a maximum of two roulettes can be possible this year because of the changes in the new skill move system. The skill move is most effective when you're coming down the wing running towards the goal and you have to beat the center back and the right back to take a shot at goal. To perform this skill move you need to perform a 180 on your right stick. Remember this skill move used to be 3 star skill moves and now this can be performed by anyone. The next move is the toe to heel. This skill move is really easy to perform in FIFA 21. To perform this skill move you need to hold the left stick in front of your player and just hold the LT L2 and then perform a fake shot. So basically same as the drag to drag as I explained earlier but this time you need to hold the left stick with it as well. This skill move is really effective when running diagonally at your opponent like for example in this clip I'm running diagonally at my opponent and he tries to tackle me and as soon as I perform this skill move I get past him very easily. Make sure you use players of 3 star and above to perform this skill move otherwise it won't work. The fourth skill move in the list is the sombrero flick. The sombrero flick is a really really easy skill move to do in this game and it literally requires you to press one button that is the R3 button and your analog stick. To do this skill move all you need to be doing is being in a situation of receiving a pass from a player and all you need to do is press the R3 and flick your right stick back behind your player and he does the sombrero flick instantly. This is a one star skill move so anybody can do it, even the goalkeeper can do it. This skill move is really effective if you are facing your back at the goal and you need to turn around instantly to take a shot. You can also use the skill move in those awkward situations when you take like a goal kick accidentally and pass the player in front of you. Then you can do the skill move to turn around and take out your defenders. The fifth skill move in the list is the setup touch. This skill requires you to just press one button and it's really easy to perform. The setup touch is so effective that I've made about two videos on it and this skill move can be performed with anyone in your team and all you need to do is just hold the RB or the R1 button and flick your right stick in any direction. I've scored so many goals using this skill move and I can't recommend it enough. It's really effective to perform just before you're going to take a shot at goal. The setup touch can be performed with the finesse shot and time finish to get the perfect and the most effective results. The nutmeg this year is a very easy skill move to perform and I highly recommend practicing it. It just uses one button anyway so it'll be very good fun for the new players to try it out. To perform the nutmeg you need to tap the RBR1 button twice and you should see your player knock the ball in front of you. The only thing to keep in mind is you need to take care of the timing when you do it. The nutmeg is a very filthy skill move and you literally destroy people so please have some mercy on them. I have covered this skill move in my new skill moves tutorial as well so if you're interested you can check that out. The fake shot is one of the easiest skill moves in the game and has been added since the old FIFAs. The point of this skill move is very simple to understand. It's an instant direction change. Basically changing the dribbling direction instantly so that your opponent is caught off guard. The fake shot generally helps you to improve your dribbling experience since it can correct the errors that your players make. So if instance you are dribbling into a defender, you can fake shot away in the last second. The skill was made to work as a fake move for shooting but I don't think so it works like that. I mean nobody reacts to fake shots like goalkeepers in the arena. The controls of this skill move are on the screen right now. The next one is the Berber spin. The old OG skill move that I believe will never lose its effectiveness in FIFA since it's effective in football. 
This skill move has its benefits generally when you have to turn about 90 degrees. The best thing about this skill move is that the ball will never face the defender so they literally never tackle you. And if they tackle you, it's a fall. The Berber spin is also very fast this year so it helps to keep up with the pace of the game. The skill move is effective on the sidelines when you have to transition towards the goal to take a shot. To perform this skill move you need to flick your right stick towards the front of the player and then towards the right or the left. Remember that this skill move used to be 4 star skills and now this year you can do this skill move with anyone even with your center backs and it's quite slow when they do it. I've tried it with the goalkeeper as well and it looks really funny and it turns into slow motion. The fiend forward and turn is another skill move that has existed in football since a long time and has not beat added in FIFA. This one really helps to turn around like a Cruyff turn and if you lost space you can just exit out. Just think of it like a reset button. Whenever in doubt just use this and turn around. You should be able to perform this because it's very easy and you have to flick your right stick back twice and you should see your player turn around. This skill move is really good on the wings and helps you to turn around in just a single touch. If you're a fan of back post crossing you will love this skill move on the wings before you lob the ball in the box. The drag back had to be in this video since it's the skill that ultimate team is made of. If you've ever played online in FIFA you must have come across this skill. Even though it's lost its charm and it's not as fast, still one of the best skill moves in the game though and it's really easy to perform. The controls this year have changed and you need to press the L1 R1 together to perform it. Make sure you're not abusing the skill moves as you did last year since this skill move is really slow now and there are much better options than using this one. Alright these are some extra skill moves that are really easy to perform and you can check them out if you want. Alright guys thanks for watching this video and make sure you leave a like and a comment if you're having problems performing these skill moves and I'll help you as much as I can in the comment section below. Until then leave a like, subscribe and peace.